yo, yo, people, what is going on? This is like a Spartan killer, and welcome to. I'd like to thank awesome Damien777 for saying, call it QAK. Sounds pretty legit. So, welcome to QAK. That just sounds amazing. Alright, so some of you guys have noticed Sir Willy Wonka in the background. Yes, it's from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Not the new one with Johnny Depp. Obviously, it has Gene Wilder in it, but you guys gave me a ton of questions. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A lot of questions to answer, and they're all really good. And I knew you guys would pull through. So, here is the first question. It comes from Oceans from the Rain. Aw, that, does that mean we're going to drown? She said, he said, they said, how did you and Kat meet and get together? You two are so cute. Little heart, less than three equals three, whatever. Anyway, um... Me and Kat met through uh, one of my subs, and she was friends with the person. She used to go on a uh, website called Blog TV, and that's where I used to do some of my streaming, and that's how somebody subbed to me from there. I did a live stream, and they saw me, and they were like, oh, you sound cool, and they subbed to me. And then, long story short, they were like, hey, Zach, I'm having a live stream. Come watch. I was like, all right, whatever. I'm not doing anything else anyway. So I went in there, and they were like, oh, my God, and they were freaking out, and they were like, here, talk to this girl. She's awesome. So I was like, so, I guess I'm supposed to talk to you. And she was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And she told me that she never talks to anybody in those things. But apparently I was a special one and I swooned her or something. I don't even know. She's probably lying. I don't know. But anyway, long story short, I know I've kind of shortened it a lot. But we talked and we talked and we talked. And one thing led to another. And since we met that day... Or maybe a couple days after, because she was going on vacation to come down to the States to go to Kentucky with her mother, or Tennessee, or somewhere, I don't know. And since that day, we have not, not talked a day since then. So we have talked every day for about two years. And, uh, yeah, that's how me and Kat met. We met through a mutual friend in a chat room. So, it's crazy how we met. There was no, oh, I bumped into you in the street, I ordered her coffee nothing it was straight up out of the blue which is how I know I'm meant for her or she's meant for me I don't know I don't, whatever all the girls in the video are like Aah! take notes gentlemen all right next question is from lovely Lucy 385 will you ever do a vlog I'm doing a vlog right now next Suicide Nick Borco said if I came to Arizona could I meet you of course you can I love meeting up with fans but you need to tell me when you're coming and it kind of has to be a public place because you could be 11 and I don't want to get in trouble with the law or anything like that. So if you say, hey, AK, me and my parents are going to the mall and we're going to be here this day. I'm going to try to go out there and meet you because it, seeing me is probably like a once in a lifetime thing. So I will most definitely try to come out and hang out with you at least for a little bit. Maybe we can... Uh, I don't even know what there is to do in the mall. Maybe just walk around and talk. I don't know. Anyway, Zummerlove9 said, Zach, if you had very few or no subscribers and viewers, would you still mail videos? I think she means make. He means make. I'm just going to say them. I think they mean uh, make videos. And yes, from the very beginning, since I started doing videos, I said, I don't care if I make one person laugh, I'm going to continue to do videos. Even if that one person is me. I make myself laugh all the time just happened and so I'm never gonna stop doing videos unless I like lose my voice or something happens to my computer and I can't fix it and I can't buy another one as of right now I'm never gonna stop doing videos ever Kayla Capralova said hey Kate I've been with this channel since the first Minecraft interactive channel and I have a question for you is it hard when you get haters spamming on your videos saying how or are terrible etc I know I don't appreciate it when a good commentator puts hard work into a video and no one cares or just hates on him. Please let me know and yeah, thanks. Yes, it's very hard when haters spam your channel and you're just like, ah, because they don't know how much work goes into it. There's a lot of work that goes into some of my videos. Other ones, not so much. This one, all I need to do is download the, just take a picture of the, the comments, stick them on a video, render it out and be done. But some of the other ones, actually pretty hard now I knew getting into YouTube that there was gonna be a lot of hate and anybody going into YouTube 
needs to get this into their brain. Doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter where you go, doesn't matter what you post, there is always gonna be someone that tries to get you down. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be posting videos of puppies. Somebody says, I hope you die. It, everywhere, look at every video. There is always gonna be at least one dislike if it's a, a popular thing. Like if you see a video with five views, it's chances are it might not get seen, but if it gets seen by a lot of people, it is gonna have some hate. So I knew straight up that I was gonna need tough skin. And I'm a very emotional person and I take um, words what people say to my heart and I'm just like, okay, uh, they don't like it for this, so I need to change it. Like you can have a dislike like ratio of 99 to one and I will always focus on that one and I'm gonna try to make that person happy. Which is why some of the haters in the videos and the comments, I respond to it. I'm like, what's the deal? Because I don't like somebody not liking me. I guess it's just my character or something like that. So it it does bother me. I'm not gonna stop because of it. If they say, oh, you're horrible, uh, you should stop doing it. I'm not gonna do that at all. It's their opinion, they're entitled to it. If you are going to get into YouTube, most definitely grow a thick skin. I've seen a lot of commentators get pulled down because they take it to heart and you can't, but I I take it to heart, but I try to build on it. Most people take it to heart and they think it's an attack on their character, they think it's an attack on their commentating style, and they just are like, and they just can't handle it. Especially when you get up there in the big views, like when you start posting to Machinima, that is a lot of haters. And uh, just go check out any of my video on Machinima and it's just filled with haters. Now I normally get like a 50 like, 50 dislike thing until I tell you guys, to, oh my god, go over there and help me out because it's good to have you guys in there as backup because it can get depressing after a while. So yeah, it does kind of get to you, but after a while you tend to ignore it and some people just have the attitude of, ah, whatever, I don't care, I'm just doing this for money, but I'm legitimately out here to try to make people happy and to make people laugh. Um, That's it for that question. Next question, Georgia Smith said, how many voices can you do? A lot. I can do a lot of voices and a lot of accents. Not like a crazy amount, but I can do uh, a lot of them. Seven Dog Boy said, I want to com commentate with the PS3, but my friend and I don't know how to capture our voice at the same time as playing. How do you do it? Thanks. Smiley face. Um, normally what you're gonna need is an HD PVR. Now what that does, is it goes from your PlayStation, imagine that to be a PlayStation, and that's it right there. Now, you have your inputs and stuff, and then you have it in the back, and then it goes all the way down to your computer. Now, what that does is it just basically feeds it and records it to your hard drive. There is no other like way to explain it unless you actually get one and hook it up, and you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. And um, I don't really know, I don't, I haven't done Xbox, um, or PlayStation 3 dual comms. So I don't know how the people record the uh, thing. They probably get on Skype and then they have Audacity going and uh, and they just record their voices like that and then they record the gameplay. Or some people just, I know like Woody's Gamer Tag, all he does is he just plays the game and whatever and then he just does like a dual comm on Skype and records it with uh, Audacity or something. So yeah, maybe search the forums or Google it if you want like a more specific answer, I guess. Super Speedy 1992 said, is your hair natural or dyed? I have never dyed my hair, nor will I ever. I have a big gray spot right here on my hair. See, it's like right there. I don't know if you could see it, but uh, yeah, I'm never gonna dye it. And this little black streak right here, that's never gonna go away unless it goes away naturally because I don't like dyeing my hair. I don't like fake things. I don't like pretending to be something that I'm not. Love Dove 34 full said, are you spending your Christmas with Kat? Unfortunately, negative. I am not. I told her to stay home and uh, spend Christmas with her family because it's probably gonna be the last one that she spends with them unless we like go up there for Christmas or they come down here for Christmas, which is highly unlikely because it's like $500 for a plane ticket. So no, as of this Christmas, no. Next Christmas, yes. Dylan Beckham 12 said, AK, I'm curious on how to get started. What I need to get to begin recording, and is it weird for you to be known worldwide by nearly 40,000 people? Thanks, yours truly, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Um, how to get started? You just do videos. That's pretty much it. Recording, 
Uh, most people use Fraps, um, Bandicam, um, Audacity. Uh, some people use DX Tori. Um, there's a couple other screen recording ones that, and you can just Google screen recording program and a lot of them will come up. I know f uh, Bandicam has like a free trial that you can do 10 minutes at a time with. And uh, I don't know about any, uh, any of the other ones. A lot of people in my Machinima group say that DX Tori is actually really, really good, but you have to pay for it. So there's that for how to record. What's it known? It's mind blowing. That is a lot of people. Like most stadiums only hold like 30,000 people, I think, 30, 40,000 people. So pretty much it's a whole stadium of people. And that is just insane. That is crazy insane, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Now, the last one is from yours truly. My El Fiance, Miss Cat Bell Design, said, Have you ever written ribbon with a little face? I have to answer her, I guess. And uh, I've eaten ribbon candy. I don't think I've ever eaten a ribbon because... It's just not appealed to me. I don't care if it's glitterized. But that's the kind of attitude I get to look forward to marrying a woman that asks me if I eat ribbon. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for your awesome comments. Um, There's... How many is there? There is... 328 of them. So... Keep sending them. Please. I like doing this kind of stuff. I love helping you guys out. Um, there is a lot of good questions on there that I might put in the next one. If you didn't get chosen, put it on this video. Um, I really like doing this kind of stuff, believe it or not. I like helping people. I will go out of my way to change a tire for someone. I don't care. I like helping people. So this is awesome that I'm helping the younger generation and I don't care if you're 27. Uh, I just like helping people. But as of right now, I don't know how long this video's gone on for, so I'm kind of like guesstimating. That's why I kind of picked a lot of questions, and that way you guys will be like, oh, it's a three-minute video. Woo! So I'm going to try to pick a lot. But as of right now, it looks like our time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!